Okay guys, I just got through seeing the WWE 2K14 gameplay trailer. Now, from that trailer, it looks like the game's going to be real good. I saw, you know, the um, universe mode thing live stream the other day. And I have to say, it looks, it looks pretty good. cool. I mean, you got the NST title on the game now. You can uh, change your attires and stuff like that. And um, you can... Uh, set rivals anytime you want you know and um you can you can do a lot of stuff and of course you know 2k and wwe they're not gonna tell us everything until we buy the game which i have already pre-ordered and i'm just waiting till october 29th for it to drop so i can go pick it up and play it but in the trailer let's talk about the trailer real quick in the trailer you know we saw some stuff like um like Roman Reigns, he he also has the ability to do the counterpole uh, submission. I mean, um, finisher, where he can, in the trailer you see him toss up Zack Ryder in the air and it catches him with a nasty spear. I think that's cool, and you know I, I'm gonna play with the shield. I'm I'm gonna go ham with the shield on the game. And then you you saw stuff like um like Stephanie. They had Stephanie in there. I saw her attire. And I'm hoping she got more than one attire because it's the same exact attire from WWE 13. And I'm like, no. Like, does she, do you have an attire where she comes with a suit? Do you have an attire where she comes with a white shirt? That we do not know. But hopefully she has more than one attire as well. We see uh, Triple H, Pedigree, Daniel Bryan in the middle of the ring on the trailer, which looks pretty nice. And then you got the standoff between Goldberg and uh, Brock Lesnar. You see them standing in the ring face to face. Now the match itself, like I said, I'm going to make it way better on the game than it was on TV. Because when I saw that WrestleMania on the pay-per-view, it, it wasn't that good. It was, it was a lot of hype. But the hype did not deliver in the match. And then I saw AJ. AJ, see that's that's one thing I was asking myself about. I'm like, will AJ finally come out in the jean shorts, you know, with the black T-shirt? And, and yes, she does. She's the Divas Champion on the game, which I want it because you know I want to have AJ as the Divas Champion on my game. She she wears the black attire with the jean shorts, and she's skipping. She she actually skips on this game. On 13, you know, she really didn't skip. She, like, ran, like, jogged down to the ring. But from the looks of the trailer, she was skipping. So hopefully this means she skips also around the ring while she does on TV, which I think will be cool. And then you see Titus O'Neil in the trailer shows Titus O'Neil, Darian, the primetime players. They're wearing their shirts. Titus got his shirt on that says Titus. Darren has his shirt on that says Young or Darren on there. I can't really remember. <laughs> It, it was like a quick glance, and they were doing their in room in a uh, ring dance. So it looks like they will be doing the millions of dollar dance on 2K14, which I think cool, cool, cool. And we all know that the shield can come through the crowd in the game. They come through the crowd. Their interest is from the crowd. Now I'm trying to. I'm still trying to see and wonder. Do they walk down the stairs? Or does it is it like similar to the Edge and Christian entrance where it just the camera goes around the arena until they get close to the floor and then it shows them walk through the crowd? I don't know. That I will have to see. Also, you see in the trailer the Big Show. He he sleeps someone. I think it was uh, Jack Swagger. Yeah, he knocks out Jack Swagger, who's wearing the real American clothes. So it looks like, and like I said, from the gameplay. Uh, live stream last week on Universe Mode, we saw the Real Americans. So the Real Americans are together in the game. Now, does Zeb Coulter come out with Jack Swagger? Can you use Zeb Coulter as a manager? Is he even on the game? That's a good question. And also, what else we see in the trailer? We see oh, Dan Bryan, new finisher. Which we also saw in the game, but he has the new finisher, his running knee. And we saw him running knee John Cena in the face and his shoulder winning the WWE title. Just like what really happened. And also Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett also have the counterpull attack. He 
it shows him throw Justin Gabriel up in the air. He catch him with the ball hammer punch. I thought that was pretty cool and sweet. I thought it was nice. Then, you know, they showed a great relief of uh, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And it showed, you know, Undertaker leap over the ropes and dive on Shawn Michaels. And then, you know, it showed, like, the match. I, li I also like the ultimate drag. I mean, uh, Ricky the Dragon. It's, uh interest because you know I saw the interest the other day when they posted it on 2k.com and I like how when he's getting in the ring you got a uh, macho man pointing at him and Miss Elizabeth hiding behind macho man I think that was pretty cool you know and hopefully if you put a diva in your corner hopefully she'll do the same thing and I like how also how Edge when Edge comes out with Lita on the game you know she actually I mean they always walk together but it, Hopefully this means that if you have a diva in your corner, she actually walks down to the ring with you. Not like on the past games how she'll be at the top of the ramp when you come out clapping. And then when you get to the ring, near the ring, she'll be down there like, she didn't even follow me down the ramp. How'd she get down there so quick? You know, hopefully we don't see none of that. And um, like we said, uh, now that says more realer. They say, you know, you, you get beat down, you stay down longer. So, but the game comes out this month at the end of the month. I can't wait. Like I said, as soon as I get it, I'm going to jump on it. And I know they got 30 years of WrestleMania. I know they have universe mode. But another question I'm asking myself is, do they have a season mode, like a career mode? Do they have a season mode? That we do not know. But what I do know is, like I said, once I get this game, I'm going to play it. Hopefully I enjoy it way better than WWE 13 because you know a lot of people didn't like 13. They thought it was rushed and then because of all the bugs and stuff in it. And, and when I bought mine, when it first came out, when I pre-ordered it, I didn't really have no problems with it. I mean eventually I did but you know it took at least three or four months before mine even did anything. So like I said, I'm ready for this game. I got a lot of ideas what I want to do. I, I got a lot of storylines I want to make. I got a lot of teams that I want to put together. So, you know, I can't, I can't wait. So, when the game comes out, I will be on it. Said, and for all them other people who get in the game, I want to know your thoughts. Like, what are you plan on doing when you get the game? Like, what are you plan on doing with it? So, until then, October 29th. Let's see what happens when 2K14 comes out.